Hmm. So... I can only interact with the big dots? Who are you? Uh, blueberry. Goodbye. Oh. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbelk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Um, yes. Who are you? Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Okay. Drop display. Oh. Back. Hubert. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but... <laughs> Actually, that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. I'm going to call you Bert. Unless you annoy me, and then it will be Burke. Do not annoy me. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. <laughs> His house is that of Duke Iron, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. Oh, he's one of them, is he? He's remarkably intelligent, e? but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. He's a very pretty man. I honestly thought he was a woman, but okay, fair enough. That, that shows never judge a book by its cover, it appears. Right. He's the second son of Count Bergley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Adjacent foes suffer... A, I forget what AVO means now. Minus 10 during combat, whatever it is. Advance order? She's Count Farley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. Hey, eccentric's I good. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Ah, should knock at eccentrics. Eccentrics are awesome. We need more eccentrics in this world. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. Adjacent allies recover 10% of max HP at the start of each turn. Oh, she's our healer. I think. Healing? Maybe. Petra. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the oh, Petra. of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Very pretty. Oh, sorry, did I just say that out loud? <clears throat> anyway. Yes. How did I get to meet... Uh, how do I get Dimitri to be my friend? Uh, blah, blah, blah. You must be a new student. Hello there. What's over here? What do you think? Hmm. Oh, hello. I'm guessing this is where Fingy is. Ah. 
Ah. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Yes. Who are you? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Fair enough. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. <laughs> This is too dexed. Raphael. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. Mm. His passions are training, eating, and... Nah, actually, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Chance to recover 10% of max HP at the start of each turn. Triggers percent luck stat. I assume that's luck stat. I could be wrong, though. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. Ah. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Interesting. Why do you have belts wrapped around the top of your legs? I mean, if they were holding up your socks, I could sort of understand it, but no, you've literally just wrapped a couple of leather belts around the top of your legs. Who does that? That fashion? Isn't that what fashion constitutes as? I think I'll stick to looking awful, to be honest. <laughs> oh, no, 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 thank you. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia. Pretty name. She's probably the youngest student here. But watch out. She gets angry if you treat her like a oh. child. <laughs> as for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Double skill experience. Double skill experience and in battle, really? Good lord. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Interesting. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. <laughs> if you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. <laughs> That's unusual for a noble, I guess. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. The male island is adjacent. Unit deals two extra damage and takes two less damage during combat. Huh. Good chat. Hello, cat. Oh, can't interact with cat. And there's Dimitri. And there's people talking. Random student. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Ah. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. Edelgard. Oh. oh, right, okay. So I've got... I can actually interact with all the people I can hear about. Well, we'll Princess let to know about them first. The other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blayton. Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. 
In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Yes. Who are you? Me? Oh, um... Please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Uh, that, there we go. Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. <laughs> Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Unit deals 5 extra damage when no battalion is assigned or when battalion endurance is zero. Hmm. Ash. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Allows unit to open doors and chests without keys. And the ability to have. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> oh. Bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. Alandra, if a female ally is adjacent, unit deals two extra damage and takes two less damage during combat. Fair enough. Mercedes? I hear she was born to Imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Hila. Oh, there we go. Live to serve. When healing an ally with white magic, unit recovers the same amount of HP. That sounds a bit overpowered. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last <laughs> night. <laughs> the girl after my own heart. Right. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Grants hmm. might plus three and hit plus five with gambits. Hmm. I appreciate your effort. Oh, speak to the free house leaders. Give information about the students in each house. The students can be found in the reception hall, first hall, and bad, 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 bad. Quest complete. Wait, I should return to Raya. Ah, uh, continue explaining, exploring first. I'm sure I can get to know more people. Hello. Oh, I, I can just sort of make you nod. Okay. Hello. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Ah. I appear to be able to talk to you. Well, aren't you just lovely? Is this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? Your voice sounds My name is really familiar. In the academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Well, or, oh. Okay, uh, sure. Is it Hello. true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard. Goodbye. Wait, what? <laughs> Jeez, Linhard. How'd you get into the academy with those manners? So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. Is it true that you saved the Linhart? So, <laughs> Linhart is going to be an, an interesting character. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. 
Wow. I heard you came to the aid of Her Highness. You have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Brigid to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlan terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. Okay. She's Starfire. That voice is also really familiar. The there are so many familiar voices in this game. I'm going to have to look up the voice actors at some point, aren't I? Uh, is that all of them? I think that's everyone I can talk to in here. Okay, so I can't get the... Oh, right, so these are going to be... Dude, ah, okay, these are the houses. Hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved his highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. Will do. Yes. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and, uh... You may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Pleasure to meet you. I do hope that if, when I pick a house, I don't get locked out of all these characters. I may very well get locked out of them, so further playthroughs, but still, these are all so interesting. I like this? these characters. You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it... That does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officers' Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Hey, hey. Hey. Huh? Oh, okay, right, fair enough. Uh, so have, have I spoken to you? No, not yet. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued his highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Okay. Oh, right. Does that mean I miss talking to someone? This classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Okay. Oh, right, I did miss some. Okay, so the little speech below on the mini-map disappears when you've spoken to them. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, hello. Oh, what? I don't talk to strangers. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyer, legitimate son of the Eyer family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. Okay, I like Bernadette. <laughs> I'm guessing this place is... Golden Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Who I am now going to speak to. Hello. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. Well, I'm glad to see that you're a sane level-headed individual who is probably not going to try and stab anyone in the back. It's like this. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Why do you have... Belt strapped 
to your leg. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no! No, no, the sock braces. Never mind. <clears throat> hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Von Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. He, the blue haired girls. He has bags under her eyes. She must not sleep enough. Part of me wants to side with, the, choose this house, if only so I can find out more about her. <laughs> just, just that one girl. Just I, something. Hmm. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leonie Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? I suppose I should turn, return to Rhea. No, continue exploring. I want to see more of this place. Not that I think there's much more yeah. to explore, but you know. Anyone else I can talk to? Oh yes, there's the teachers. How do I find them? Yes. Um. A moment, please. You can't pass here. Okay, fine. There's the audience chamber. Second floor. Oh, that's a point. Hi. Uh. Oh no, there we go. Save. How do I save? Ah, there we go. Hmm. I don't think I've picked my house yet. So, you know what stuff it. If I have to do another playthrough, I'll just start from the beginning. That's to the first floor. That's the audience chamber. Ah, uh, huh. hello. Who are you? I'm real busy, so could you please move along now? Thanks. Okay, now, what else did Lady Rhea need doing today? Well, aren't you a charming individual? Goodbye. <clears throat> ah. Here I am again, the office of the Captain of the Knights. That said, I'm merely here to assist. Apparently, the current captain is getting on in years. I hear the captain has a hard time keeping up with the responsibilities of the job. Uh, that's where I come in. Okay. Wonder who the current captain is. Fancy armor. Huh. <laughs> Damn it all. I'm too old for this. Uh, maps? Arts? Architecture? Oh, well, fair enough. Weapons, maybe? Ah, hello! Oh, Professor! Dropping by so soon? I expected we'd take some time. Exchange a few smiles as we passed in the hall. Flirt a bit? You know. Well, you're here now. And I do like a man who knows what he wants. Lock the door. Uh, 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 that welcome didn't phase you at all, did it? What's the matter? You don't understand me. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apart from the fact that I think I've said that soundboard too loud, that was not a line of dialogue I thought. <laughs> I think I'm going to enjoy talking to this character. <clears throat> anyway, because I, I rudely interrupted that. <clears throat> huh. That welcome didn't phase you at all, did it? What's the matter? Don't you like me? Or are you just so innocent you don't understand me? I, I'm going to just, um... Oh, uh, huh. 
No, okay, that's all you have to, to, to <clears throat> Right. Uh, first things first, can I turn the volume of that soundboard down a bit? Yeah, well, I'll just I'll just leave that open in the background. <laughs> okay, I, I I I I must admit, I am in this part of the castle purely to see. Well, okay, to see what both teachers have to say. But I went to talk to her. I'm not disappointed that I did. Best analyzer. Hello. This is my research laboratory. Oh. This is my research laboratory. I've worked hard to furnish it with the rare materials and purpose-built equipment required for my work. Ah, oh, is that everything? Okay. Ezio investigated the crest analyzer. What could this crest be? Um. Hmm. Okay, so that's all of them spoken to. Anything else? I think there were some knights I could. Oh, hello. Welcome to the library. Welcome to the library. Here you may find literature from the far reaches of Fodland. I am Tomas, the librarian. If you have need of me, do not hesitate to ask. I have worked here for... Uh, uh, I have lost track of the decades, it seems. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't get into the library just yet, can I? Okay, fine. Well, we'll speak to you later, Tomas. I've just realised. I just... He has, are those sleeves... Or just fabric -y bits on his cape. Because if not, that's quite an interesting design. It, uh, um, hmm. I think they are sleeves, actually. So can he sort of slot his hands into his sleeves? Or is it some sort of weird coat? I mean... Or... Has it glitched? No, no, it's not glitched. That, that's intentional. Wait, wait, so has he literally just cut holes in the sleeves of his shirt jacket so that he doesn't have to wear sleeves? <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking far too deeply into this, aren't I? Uh, where does this lead? Ah, this leads somewhere else. Uh, and this leads down to the first floor. So let's see what the second floor of the audience chamber holds. Oh, uh, no, continue exploring. I want to see what those... I think there was a guard I could speak to downstairs by the doodad. That's where I'm going. Oh. Uh, oh, she's gone. Oh, no, there she is. Hello there. Greetings. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Once again, that voice sounds really familiar. I think that that's a that's a flying horse. Okay, <laughs> I knew there were Pegasus in here, but still, I wasn't expecting that. At least not at this point, anyway. Uh, oh, where does this lead? Oh, apparently I can't go past there. Fair enough. Yes. Oh. Okay. 
Something over here. Let me guess. You can't go past here. Ba 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 ba. I am a knight. Ha ha. 